Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. Beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hey, you cat. Hi, Bruce. (laughs) It was the first weekend of Nutcracker. How did you do? (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Okay, so. uh, That was in Crescent City, right? Yeah, down in Crescent City. That's where they've got the big stage in the backstage room. But, oh, my goodness. So I am the stage manager for the Nutcracker Ballet. Mm -hmm. It's my first year doing it. And it was a wild, wild, well, not just weekend, but whole week leading up to, because, you know, they got to get in there, they got to get the tech set, they have to get used to dancing on the stage, and then they perform the show. You know? <laughs> exactly. Um, but, but yeah, no, it was incredible. I mean, all those kids, I will classically tell people, I'm not a kid's person. I don't know. I just, I'm just like, oh, you're a tiny human. What do I do about this? And I don't know, those kids just like, I, I'm, I've been 180 turned around. They're the coolest kids, and their dedication is so... Oh, yeah. So evident, and and they're just so talented, and, and so most sweet. of them been doing it since they were, you know, know they've yeah, been doing it for yeah, years. Some yeah, of them, no, yeah. Th- they they did a fantastic uh-huh. job, all of them from the tiniest up through the high schoolers. I was just, awesome. I was very proud of them, and and Jason had his gig as as Drosselmeyer, and his magic tricks went off without a hitch, and he was just, we were all having a really good time. We're exhausted. So exhausted, but we were ha- we were having a good time. Oh man, that's awesome! That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. That, yeah, mm-hmm. his Drosselmeyer went down good. Then. Yeah, was great. Did yeah. some magic tricks and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was cool. Mm-hmm. Kids yeah. absolutely loved it. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was good. It yeah. was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had pockets built in my cape that I had. My mm-hmm. captain's cape, or actually, I should say, the one I use for my captain's thing. I use that, and it has pockets inside. That helps. And so I had stuff hidden all over me up my sleeves. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. got some, the magic some stuff up my, sleeves. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. So you guys got one more weekend of that. And then yeah, there's one weekend left we'll on the 16th yeah. at two and seven and the 17th at two so right yeah. on mm-hmm. very cool Three more very times cool. yeah how yeah. about you and junior what hey were you, you up know to? uh yeah this was a very busy weekend Friday night was the winter carnival over there at the uh, school. Right. So we went down and they had the, all the setups there. Every classroom had something going on, you know, bingo tops, just little games and everything all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. And they had snacks and all that good stuff and yeah, kids all over the place, and it was everybody having fun and all that, and, you know, got to see meet some parents again and everything. That's one thing about those I like. Get to meet mm-hmm. the teachers, and you get to meet the parents. Absolutely, you know, some parents yeah. and kids that yeah. they're playing with, and that's always, yeah. that's pretty... I remember. I As a remember new those. Parent, I'm figuring that out. <laughs> yeah, I remember those from my Cal Meowsis days. I'm so glad that they're still doing it all those years later. That's that's really cool. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. I know they did a carnival at the uh, the Halloween thing too. They did one then too. Mm-hmm. That was really neat. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I like it. So yeah, it's funny now being the parent and the kid is actually interested in doing these things. He's like going. We're going to the carnival, Papa. And I'm Aww. like going, yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are. Yeah, me and Beth, grab them, go, you know. And then Saturday, we went down to the chamber, had that mm-hmm. old Christmas world open house going on down okay, there. Okay, okay. It was the first year for that. That was very cool. Uh, that was cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And Michelle and uh, Marie, and then I guess Abigail events, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I up saw the those tents. tents. Did you see those yeah, tents? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was Heavy like, duty. Going on. Yeah. <laughs> now, Chrissy comes up talking in my ear, and we're already planning things, and we're like going, hmm. These tents could be utilized mm-hmm. in bad weather, you know, and everything like that. They're pretty strong, heavy-duty tents and yeah, everything. But, absolutely. yeah, they put that all on, and it was the first time for that, and it was really neat. And Michelle's husband, Mark, he was, of course, the Santa. He was Santa. Of course he so was. So that was yes. cool. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Junior, he's not into going and talking to Santa. He goes, I'm shy. It's like, yeah, you're shy like, yeah, like I'm shy, but he is to certain things, you sure, know. Like he, you know. he's bypassed, which, <laughs> like I said, that sounds bad, but. At the lights, you know, mm-hmm. you know, festival lights there, um, they have Santa up in there. And there's always a line that goes clear down the road. Mm-hmm. And I'm so glad he's not interested. At all. He never is. He's like, nah. Yeah, it's like, I, oh. go, I look at him and go, you want to go see Santa? He goes, nah. And I'm like oh, going, I darn. love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, disappointing. I mean, oh, that stand in line stuff. But, you know, yeah. he'd get me one of these days. But, yeah, yeah. But his buddy... T-Bone was with us, old Tyler, and he uh, mm-hmm. uh, he he went and saw Santa, so that was cool. But yeah, Always we did that, cold and that great. was fun. Good event down there. Uh, yeah, good times. You know, <laughs> had lots going on and all kinds of people down there. Once again, seeing people I hadn't seen in a while. and all. So mm-hmm. yeah, it was a pretty cool weekend. And then Sunday, 
That was enough of everything. I, we sat around and watched football all day on Sunday. Yeah, that was it. And relaxed. Yeah. That was, we were done. So, right. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like plenty to do. Mm-hmm. There was plenty to do this weekend, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. If you're saying there's nothing to do around here in the holiday time, I don't know. What, are, are, is your head you're in the sand? You're not listening to our show, <laughs> reading my paper, <laughs> or yeah. checking it out because we got so much stuff mm-hmm. going on. So, hey, that was great. Hope you all got out there and had fun this weekend as well. Probably saw you out there. (laughs) And there's more to come. But before we get going, I'd like to thank Trike City Dispensary, the Oregon South Coast Fisherman, otherwise known as the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows that KCIW has, go to kciw.org and you will be on your way. And speaking of those castaways, our favorite castaway is on board here with us to give us the fishing report. Mr. Dave King, what's going on? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah, Mr. (laughs) Santa Claus. I do have my hat on. That's true. I got your hat on. That's right. (laughs) I've got one with a fish on it. I think I'll start wearing that one, too. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. Appropriate, right? (laughs) Well, uh, thanks, Bruce. Thanks, Cat. Well, the ocean's been looking pretty crazy out there. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Yeah, it's... Jeez. We haven't been able to get out. However, today, I've got a good group... uh, Quite a few of our club members are going out today. Oh yeah, and tomorrow mm-hmm. and Wednesday. Oh. Those, those are the three Supposed open to be days. Some good it days. Pretty, it looks like yeah, pretty good swell. Or, or is laying down now. Thank yeah. goodness, because it's been quite a while. So when you we can get out, like some of my friends today, they'll be bottom fishing. So again, five rockfish, two lingcod. So hopefully the bite is good. Uh, there's crab fever is definitely alive and well. We oh, open really? on December first, and we haven't been able to get out. This is for recreation crabbing, okay. and they uh, are big and full, from what I'm told. So we've got a few boats going out to do some recreational crabbing today, um, and uh, it's just 12 per person is your limit. And then let's see, commercial crabbing will open on the 16th, not too far from here. And when you set thousands of pots, the crab kind of disappear for us recreational oh, fishermen. Yeah. So that's why... Uh, the impetus to go in the next couple of days to set our rec pots before the there commercial. There's no out there just yeah. Oh, okay. They set there, yeah. So, so I, I hope to get out on Wednesday myself to do a little bottom fishing and crabbing. So that's my plan. So that takes care of pretty much the ocean. That's the only thing that's really open is the uh, bottom fish right now. Okay. Halibuts next year that that will be determined in January and salmon seasons. Hopefully that'll also be determined sometime in March and April. So we don't know those seasons yet. Let's see. Steelhead, however. Steelhead fever. You talk oh, about that. Okay. It's happening. You know, I've got some of my uh, my friends are fishing on Social Security Bar for Steelhead today oh, as we speak. Oh, okay. And so, Up river down there. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah that's going to cool. be happening. The, the river's dropped into some really fine shape for steelhead fishing if the fish are there. Um, if they not, get they'll be down by your place? Soon. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I fished down, <laughs> I I fished down at my place. In fact, just before coming here, I had to bring my rod in and uh, put it away because you, you don't want to leave an unattended rod because that's a no-no. Yep, I had a feeling. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, But we'll start our Steelhead Broodstock Collection program this month. We we usually wait till January, but uh, we are going to get an early start. So we will be starting to collect Steelhead Broodstock, getting them to the Elk River Hatchery to spawn. But what's really unique about this program is we, we return the steelhead live back to the river and put them back in. You don't do that with salmon because they die after spawning. Right. So this is pretty good. So we live spawn steelhead and then put them back in the system. Right. That's helped a lot of perception. People go, oh, you're doing that? Well, I'm willing to donate then the, a ah, fish. That's, yeah. So that was a, a really good thing. Let's see. Uh, other information. We did get our quota of king salmon brood stock on the Checo River this year. It was a real good run. So we've now spawned them out, and we'll be putting this smolt back in uh, sometime next year into okay. the river. So it's quite a process. Yeah. You know, a, lot, a lot of moving parts. Uh, Seems like a year since the last time we did this. So. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like a repeat, repeat, You talked repeat. about this stuff. Yeah, that's great. Uh, but 2024, bottom reg, it looks like it'll be the same as 2023, five plus two. But I attended a meeting, an ODF meeting last week, and it looks like 2025 we might be taking a, a big hit in our quota. But it'll be reduced. Oh, Hopefully not. Fingers crossed that it won't, but things aren't looking too bright on for 2025. Get your freezers filled. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, But 2024, we should have the same regs, so that'll be good. And the next meeting, we don't have a club meeting. We have our Christmas party on the 19th of December. Oh, Big party at the Elks Club. It's a lot, a lot of fun. And whatnot, prizes, good time. 
socializing, et cetera. <laughs> and then uh, one more thing we're going to be doing. Yeah. Uh, we do, we're an event sponsor for the Azalea Festival of Lights. Our club is. And go. we will have our host night on Friday, December 22nd, when our Oregon South Coast Fishermen will man the three ticket booths and yeah, the, the snack shack. And okay, yeah, cool. it's always fun. Oh, that's neat. We always yeah. look forward to doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I was rambling, but I think I got it all in. No, yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. Christmas party and everything. Right on. So, yep. all right. Was well, it time to go do the cha cha with uh, Mary Lou? Yeah, uh, the line dancing. <laughs> the line Although dancing. some of it I is cha cha. You You're right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> time to go. <laughs> right on. <laughs> we need more men in the group. Oh, yeah. If well, you're interested. Well, oh, yeah. Where you guys meet at? Uh, Elks, Elks Lodge. Oh, oh it's the Elks Lodge? Oh, well, yeah. There you go. What time? 20, 30 people. 12, 12 to 1 is the. Beginnings, lower intermediate class, then one to two is more the advanced class. I did the advanced class last week. Uh, I was so proud of myself. Work yourself nice. up there, yeah. yeah. Well, see, mm -hmm. now it's been put out on the air, so anybody out there oh, interested, yeah. we it, just did it. Yeah, free line boom. dance classes. <laughs> we'll have to remember that. Every yeah. Monday and Wednesday, 12 noon. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can catch Mary Lou and Dave there, man. Have <laughs> yep. a good time. Take a date, stay fit. <laughs> yes, right. There you go. That's mm -hmm. right. Good well, model. thanks a lot, yeah. Dave. Always good to have you on board, man. Oh, it was a pleasure. Thanks, yeah. Bruce. Have a good Thank one. You, we'll talk to you. Have a Merry Christmas. And you as well. You Mary Lou, man. Have a great Christmas. Take care. Bye. All right. Well, always cool to have Dave on board here and everything. That's funny. Him and yeah, Monday and Wednesday is dancing. Good That's for very good thing. Them. Stay good in for shape. Them. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get on with the show and get the music schedule out there. We still got some going on. All yeah. Over the place. Yeah. Absolutely. So at Misty Mountain Brewing on the 29th, they're going to host Lon Goddard playing from six to eight p.m. Yeah, at the Tortuga Mexican Bar and Grill on the 22nd and the 29th. Jeevan is playing at 6 to 8. And then on the 15th, it's the Italian guys at 6 p.m. And down at the Inateca in Crescent City on the 16th, they're having the Italian guys playing at 7. Yeah, and then at Elk Valley Casino, they got the Betty Green Center on the 16th. They have comedian Tommy Savitt featuring Michelle Melizaki at 8 p.m. On the 23rd, is Justin Shandor. That's the Elvis Presley tribute at 8 on the 30th, they got Cut It Like the Kings at 7. And then on the 31st, it's the New Year's Eve with DJ Bobby Brown at 8 p.m. And then at the Warriors Bar and Grill, music starts at 7 there. On the 15th and 16th, we got Steve Nelson. On the 22nd and 23rd, we got Jesse Mead. And on the 29th and the 30th, it's Robert Tiernan. And then P.A. and T. Roy are playing some music at Coon Tai on the 16th of December, going from 6 to 8 p.m. Yep, and Danielle Duran, she's got her open mic going on every Tuesday at the Oxenfree at 8 p.m. and every Thursday at the Checo Brewing Company, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And then we have some dates here for Jeevan, playing on the 22nd and the 29th at Tortuga Mexican Bar and Grill. That's from 6 to 8. And then on the 16th, they're playing at Oxenfree. Music there starts at 8 o'clock. Yep, and then the Mighty Steelheads on the 31st, they'll be the New Year's Eve at Inateca at 9 p.m. And then some dates here for the Italian guys. Of course, they're playing on the 15th at Tortuga Mexican Bar and Grill at 6. On the 16th, they'll be at Inateca in Crescent City at 7. And then on the 30th, they'll be at Kuntai. Music there starts at 6 p.m. Yep, and Cisco and Daltrey on the 16th, 23rd, and the 30th. You find them at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. On the 15th and the 27th, they'll be at the Checkco Activity Center, 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And on the 15th, they'll be down in Crescent City at Addie's from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, and Disturbing the Peace is playing on the 31st, New Year's Eve, at Checkco Brewing Co. They'll be running from 8 to midnight. Yep, and the Bloodline Band, they'll be playing on the 22nd at the Checkco Brewing Company, 6 p.m. And then we have some dates here for Lon Goddard. He's playing on the 15th and the 29th at Coon Tai from 6 to 8. And again, playing on the 29th at Misty Mountain Brewing from 6 to 8. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's it for the music. Yeah, we, it's knocking it down there. We're halfway through. But that's a lot of music going on still. <laughs> right. Lots of holiday parties needing some entertainment, uh, uh, it sounds oh, yeah. like. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Well, getting into some big events here. The Checo Pelican players have one weekend left for their Rendition of Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella, and they're going to be playing the 15th, 16th, and 17th. That's Friday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m., Sunday matinee at 2 p.m. Doors open 45 minutes before curtain. You can get tickets for $15 for adults, $7 for students. You can go to checkopp.booktix.com. You can call 541-469-1857. Or you can buy them at the door. Again, the doors open 45 minutes before showtime. 
In case you don't know what Cinderella is about, Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella is the new Broadway adaptation of the classic musical. This contemporary take on the classic tale features Rodgers and Hammerstein's most beloved songs, including In My Own Little Corner, Impossible It's Possible, and Ten Minutes Ago, alongside an up-to-date, hilarious, and romantic libretto by Tony Award nominee Douglas Carter Bean. The approximate runtime for this is about 90 minutes plus one 15-minute intermission. And as far as suitability goes, well, this play is a family-friendly production for audience members of all ages. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, Cinderella. <laughs> it's, it's Cinderella. <laughs> it's Cinderella. I don't think anybody's dirtied that one up yet. Yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> Carol's Dance presenting Ballroom Dance Tuesday classes. This is at the Methodist Church at 664 H Street in Crescent City. On the 19th, it'll be coming up. There'll be WC Swing, 5.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m. Cumbia from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And there is a fee. For info, you can call 916-214-6398. All right. And then Checo Medical and Aesthetics is hosting a Sparkle and Shine event happening on the 13th of December at 6 p.m. And then on the 14th at 5 p.m., They say Sparkle and Shine for the Holidays. It's their third annual event. It's an aesthetics and gifting party. You can take advantage of special pricing for your favorite services and products. They're having a two-day Sparkle and Shine event. You'll be able to get treatments administered during the event. You can also purchase discounted skincare products, holiday treatment packages, and more. And there's going to be raffle prizes, swag bags, and drinks for all. Hey, Save the Music Fund is, is going to be at the Checkco Grange. That's coming up this Thursday on the 14th from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's free admission, featuring a night full of live music, including a fully loaded taco bar and Misty Mountain Brewing and Tap House. Specialty craft entertainment will be provided by Long Goddard, Danielle Duran and Ohana, Troy Alvarado and Patty Ann DeCuna, Zane Van Zelf, Steve Nelson, Gregory James, Michael Schmidt, and Ross Morgan. I think there'll be some more even lining up there. So, yeah, it'll be a good night there. Very fun. All right. And then the Lucky 7 Casino is having an ugly sweater theme night that's going on on the 15th from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. And it's happening at the Lucky 7 Casino Club 7 Sports Bar. And it is an EDM theme night. They invite people to come in their best ugly Christmas sweater and win some money in their free play at the cashier's cage. You can enjoy raving drink specials all night. They're going to have a special guest DJ, Inspirata. And the music, of course, is going to have a holiday twist. And hey, now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, this one. I went for a few quotes from the chairman of the board, old Blue Eyes himself, my buddy, Frank Sinatra. He was born December 12, 1915. He said, the best revenge is massive success. He goes, I'm not one of those complicated mixed up cats i'm not looking for the secret to life i just go on from day to day taking what comes and then nothing anybody said or written about me ever bothers me except when it does (laughs) and he said alcohol may be man's worst enemy but the bible says love your enemy (laughs) i hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from frank sinatra yeah with cousin bruce till next week Have a great one. Oh, Frankie. (laughs) (laughs) All right. The Wild Rivers Coast Foundation for Dance is presenting the Nutcracker Ballet. And there's one more weekend left. It's happening at the Crescent Elk Auditorium at 994 G Street in Crescent City. Again, that's three more performances. On the 16th, it's 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock. On the 17th, it's 2 o'clock again. This beautiful and beloved holiday tradition, now in its ninth season, is sure to delight audiences of all ages. Featuring beautiful professional dancers from New York, San Francisco, and Eugene, along with a cast of 80 aspiring local dancers and actors, this show is sure to inspire. And tickets are on sale at eventbrite.com. And I gotta say, those ballet dancers from Eugene and New York are just absolutely stunning. It's like... I saw if some pictures. Wanna... I mean, those girls were like, oh yeah, one on was point. on top of mm-hmm. on, back, on their backs up in the. That... Those weren't the pros. Those I know, were those the were students. The, I know, yeah. I, those were the students, Doing and I saw that. And I'm like, things. so I can yeah. imagine yeah. what what the, the yeah, yeah, that was and, pretty and wild. And it's not yeah. very often that you get the opportunity to, to travel less than an hour to see pro ballet, and it's truly incredible. If you yeah. haven't seen it before, like I, I can't stress enough how impressive it is to see. Yeah, so. Sky Marie, she gets she 
knows all these ballet, mm-hmm. and she gets them to come here, and she sets that up really good. It's a good. treat. Yes, it absolutely indeed. is. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. She does that every year, it seems like. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hey, Ellensburg Theater Company is presenting The Happy Elf. This was written by Harry Connick Jr. This is going to be at the Rogue Theater, 94196 Moore Street in Gold Beach, on the 16th and the 17th, Saturdays at 7 p.m. and Sundays 2 p.m. The happy elf follows UB, the happiest elf at the North Pole. More than anything else, UB belongs to be a part of Santa's sleigh team. Instead, he's stuck checking the naughty or nice list. Then one Christmas Eve, he sees something strange. In the whole town of Bluesville, not a single person has been nice. With a pinch of Elfie's magic and magical whoosh, Ubi is off to Bluesville. But can he turn naughty children nice in just one day? Hmm. Tickets are $15 for adults, $10 children, and $15 for under, and then five year and under are free. Tickets are available at Jerry's Rogue Jets Gift Shop and Gold Beach Books. And, of course, at the door. Yeah, that's it. Can you hear the whole town uh-huh. <laughs> from Naughty tonight? Nice. <laughs> that is quite I think I said that day twice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm going, what did I say? All right, yeah. got his work cut out. Hey, for rented him. lips on Monday. What can I say? Oh, wow. Harmony and Me Music is having their 2023 Jingle Bell Craft event. It's happening on the 17th of December from 5 to 7 p.m. You're invited for holiday festivities and fun. It's happening at the Nature's Coastal Holiday Festival of Lights. And Harmony and Me Music will be at the Southern Oregon's Fantastical Christmas Light Show to bring the gift of music with Jingle Bell Crafting from 5 to 7 at Santa's house. Caroling will follow. They ask you to bring your instrument to play along as they sing along with their friends, family, and community. And for more information about the Festival of Lights, you can visit naturescoastalholiday.com. Yeah, I wonder what they're going to set that up at. But yeah, Mm -hmm. very cool. Mm -hmm. Harmony and music, she gets you everywhere. Hey, photos with Santa. (laughs) Go figure. That's right. This is at David Allen State Farm, 97953 Shopping Center Avenue. This is up on the 101 next to Chevron and Foxy's. This week, it's going to be People and Pets, and this will be happening on the 18th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. So there you go. Get your People and Pets in there on with Santa. Very All cool. Right. And then, hey, Crescent City Four Square Church, located at 144 Butte Street, is presenting an event called Singing Christmas Tree. That's happening on the 15th and 16th at 6 p.m., and then on the 17th at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. And now it's time for a bit of Weird History with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right, good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that Alaska was once called Russian America? It's true, and here's the story. Unlike the continuous U.S. states, Alaska is far removed from the rest of the country and is bigger than most countries around the world. Well, to put it into perspective, Alaska is more the twice the size of Texas, which is massive in its own right. Before America snatched up this immense and rugged piece of land, it was claimed by Russia. Russians first discovered the area in 1741, which paved the way for hunters and later business interests from the country to move into the area. The Russians eventually expanded their reach and even created a settlement in modern-day Northern California, but after the Crimean War, Russia found itself strapped for cash and desperate to unload debts. Well, after some back and forth between two countries and a major delay caused by the Civil War, Russia sold the land for $7.2 million. That's at two cents an acre. But even though it was a good deal for America, the land acquisition wasn't popular and only passed the Senate by a single vote. Well, thank goodness, that single vote. My good. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's Bit of Weird History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. I was going to say, like, it's uh, that bearing straight right there. So uh, it's, a, you know, the, the whole I can see Russia from my house thing. It's uh, it's, it's, it's very close to Russia. Yeah. So it makes all the yeah, sense in the world yeah. that they would have discovered it first. Yeah. <laughs> it's just hard to believe that they didn't really want to do it. It was only by uh-huh. one vote they made it. You know, yeah. it's like, oh, wow, I thought that that acquisition would be a mm-hmm, profitable mm-hmm. for everybody. Yeah. Good one. I yeah. know. It's, it's an everyday part of American life. Just. Good old Alaska, up there, up right. there, up north. <laughs> I got family up there. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, no, yeah, I got to go visit sometime. Haven't yeah, been there. Totally. Well, the Del Norte Child Care Council at 212K Street in Crescent City is having a holiday open house. This is on the 20th of December from 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. And you can join the DNCCC staff for an evening of family fun. 
You can meet Santa, play games, and go home with a holiday goodie bag full of fun surprises. And if you need more information about this event, you can call 707-464-8311. Yeah, and then as we said, Elk Valley Casino is presenting Justin Shandor, the Elvis Experience. It's happening on the 23rd, 7 p.m. The King is returning to Elk Valley Casino an evening as Justin Shandor channels the spirit of the King himself. Justin brings Elvis Presley's iconic hits to light, from General House Rock to Can't Help Falling in Love. This tribute show will transport you back to the golden era of rock and roll for an evening of nostalgia, swaying hips, and heart-thumping beats. Whether you're an Elvis aficionado or a first-time listener, get the tickets at the casino, doors open at 6 p.m., show starts at 7 p.m., and of course, because it's a casino, must be 21 years or older to attend. Yeah. All right. And then there is a Christmas Eve candlelight worship service happening on the 24th of December at 6 p.m. This is happening at Grace Lutheran Church at 372 Meridian Street in Crescent City. You can experience the joy of community, uplifting music, and a meaningful message, the perfect way to usher in the spirit of Christmas. You're invited to celebrate with them as they share the love and the light of the season. Yes, indeed. And unless you've been living in a cave... Nature's Coastal Holiday Festival of Lights has been going on, and it'll be going on until the 27th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. There's sweets, treats, and entertainment, hundreds of light sculptures, 3 million lights, as they say. Adults are $3, kids in under 12 years are free. Santa visits every Friday and Saturday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. All right, and then, of course, every week there is a game night happening at the Whimsical Griffin. They're located at 615 Checo Avenue, just down the street from the Redwood Theater. This happens on Tuesdays and Fridays from 5 to 9 p.m. Features games such as Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and of course, a variety of board games. We got time for one more here on Meals on Wheels looking for volunteers. Meals on Wheels are in need of volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to seniors that can't get to the Check Your Activity Center for the daily meals served there. They have a harbor route and a Brookings route. This is the perfect opportunity for anyone out there that wants to give back to the community and be a friendly face to deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to our local seniors. Whether you're interested in doing a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome. You can contact Debbie Lutz at 714-423-9797. Yep, and it's time. We've got the flick of finger of fate going on here. So before we get going, I want to always say, hey, Especially during this time of year, you know, it's Christmas time and everything. Support them local businesses. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, go around and, uh, yeah, get some stuff from the local uh, merchants around here. And, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a good thing to do. You can have fun, too. Hey, that's it. <laughs> it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to thank our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And I want to thank you all for tuning into this week's Insider Report. Please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows they have to offer. And you can catch all the fantastic show podcasts as well, including the Insider Report, KCIW.org. And hey, we're always proud to say while you're there, check out the live streaming. And until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. Hey, we are signing off. Keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll we'll see see you out there. there. Bam! Good times, good times. That's a wrap. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.